Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog 4, Episode 2 for the PlayStation Network. Part 3 with Mr. Crow's Game 13 and... Oh god. Tell me now. Uh, are you serious? Are we really doing this? Yes, that's right, people. I know you're all getting horrible, horrible flashbacks on Sonic the Hedgehog 2 right now. Because right now we are in... Oil Desert Zone, which I guess you could call a mix between Oil Ocean and, well, first I thought Oil Ocean, but then I thought Chemical Plant because of the whole toxic thing, but, oh my god, really, who thought this was a good idea? Really, which developer thought this was a good idea? Whoever it is, needs to be sacked. Well, fortunately, Oil Death Zone isn't too bad, but it's finally set its own in the game. It's sort of like Lost Labyrinth in Sonic the Hedgehog 4 Episode 1. Um, <coughs> I'd say this is probably the worst, even worse than Lost Labyrinth Zone, but... Um, okay. It's still playable. <coughs> How are you guys doing today? It is Tuesday, I think. Yep. Tuesday, I love Tuesdays. The 28th of August. How are you guys doing today? Um, me? Doing good. Alright. Might be off to see uh, the watch tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to see that time. Okay. okay, here. This part is near impossible to get past. That thing, that enemy right there, keeps sending down boulders. Well, it is. It, all you have to do is fly with tails, really, but unless you know to do that from the start, you're pretty much screwed. I really apologize to that guy that I'm going. But, yeah. Again. Uh, I just cut out a major connection, but oh well. Anyways, okay. So, yeah, sorry, not, not not much else to say. We're back to where we were before. Seriously, not much else to say. Sorry, guys. But this part is gonna have crap commentary. Oh, it's still post commentary. I can say that much. In this part. We get the last Chaos Emerald. Which I really don't think there's these spoilers in the game if you want to sorry. But yeah, you probably should have seen it in the first place. And I get the last Chaos Emerald here. Fortunately, after this part, there will be no more post commentary at all. Episode Metal because I did originally do live commentary for Episode Metal, but be me being the edit that I am forgot to export it, so I have to do post commentary for Episode Metal unless I want to record it again, which I really don't want to record it again. Really. You know, I wouldn't mind if I had to, if I had it recorded already, but I already have it recorded, so I would try again. Okay. Oh yeah, there's a red ring up there. But oh yeah, this is this is actually my second playthrough of um, Oil Desert Zone because the first time I played through that stage on screen, I did not get to the second stage. So yeah. All right, so Sonic is coming to that one, and here we go. Oh my God, no! I hate special stage seven. Oh, welcome to Special Stage 7 in Sonic the Hedgehog 4 Episode 2. This took me a lot of takes to get past. Seriously. Now, a lot of you are probably going to think I'm crazy for saying this, but... Special Stage 7 in Sonic 4 Episode 2. 
This makes Special Stage 7 in Sonic the Hedgehog 2 look like a piece of cake. Which it sort of, it, it really is if you know what to do, but... Oh. This special stage is awful, it takes a lot of memorization. And look, they expect you to go from 150 to 350. Or is it 100? I don't know, man, but I know they expect you to go to 350. And I think they expect you to go from 350 to 500. It's insane! Even Sonic 2 special stages didn't expect you expect that much out of you. They must have been the only even more crack when they were developing these special stages in the Sonic 2 one. I mean, they, they must have been on crack when they were developing the Sonic 2 special stages, but do you all, I don't think they would have been on this much crack. Right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we'll place a lot of bombs and make them get big ring chunks. Yep, see, they get, expect you to get 500. Fortunately, I only have like 10 more rings to go, so it's not that bad. Well, not 10, but 50. Oh, I'm still pretty bad, actually. So I'm, I'm just used to... Some of the things are like the currency of money, but... I don't know. Alright. Yeah, that's my ticket home. Seriously, it's not like episode one when I was lucky to get something and try. No. I had to do literally I don't know how many but I have to do a lot of takes on this. It was that bad. Alright. I really don't need those rings, but I just thought I'd collect them for the sake of it. Alright, and that's the end of the special stages. Thank God! And of course, it's a Silver Chaos Emerald. Because it's the last one. Silver's so most important. So I save the best for last. Alright. No more special stages! Thank God! No more special stages for Sonic Summer! Ever again. At least not until next year. And I am the trophy all Chaos Emeralds found. Alright. Oil Desert Zone Act 2. Beneath the sand. Okay. Um this level gimmick is well oil slides, as you're seeing right now. Excuse me. And also, um, I think it. I think this is the a gimmick in that. Oh, I, no. Oh. I think I'm not gonna go into detail about the gimmicks in this game like in episode because these aren't just rehashes. They're like remakes. They're not. They're still rehashes, but not like total rehashes like in. Episode 1. <sighs> okay, now. Here. If you can get that item box, it's there. The China Pickle Challenge to get. You get it. Come on. And I don't think there's any point in you getting it now because I've repeated all the enemies already, but you get it. You can repeatedly tap X for new points. And it'll defeat all the enemies in the area plus give you a crap roll of rain. And I already have 60 so I can show Super Sonic off here. Now to activate him, instead of just pressing square or triangle, you have to press triangle when you can't press square. Or if you press square, you won't activate Super Sonic. But yeah. Super Sonic, while he looks different in this game, he really is exactly the same as he was in Episode 1, so, yeah. Alright. Come on. Come on. 
That is the end of Oil the Hazard 2, and again, Supersonic makes things super easy. Cause why not? Supersonic super easy. And my phone's ringing, but I'm gonna let my brother get it because I'm recording commentary, of course. Okay, Oil Desert Zone Act 3, a crude track. What's so crude about this? It's nothing too, like, bad -like. Oh, too graphic, is it? I get it now, crude oil. I think that's a bad joke, but... Yeah. Okay, I... Sorry for the silence there, I just couldn't think of anything you could say. Alright. So yeah, that's the gimm kind of the gimmick of this level. Just getting out of those places that have death traps in them. Well, the places that want to crush you. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> I lost my train of thought. No, I, I was silent for so long there because I couldn't think of anything to say. I just lost my train of thought. I don't know. But, yeah. Okay. This is the second. Yeah, there is more than one of these places. I think I. Sorry if you heard that. Mm. Sorry, I just have someone in the room interrupting my video rudely. And I know he's gonna be very kicked off at me for that now, but I don't care. Because I think I'm a good reason for well not a very good reason, but But yeah, let's just pretend that never happened. Even though this commentary is a bit of rubbish already, because I really don't know what to say. Alright, here. Oh, there's no point in getting this because again, I will always get one of you in but hey, at least I can knock it from more than the Supersonic. And again, like I said before, Supersonic is optional. You don't have to go Supersonic every time you get to the I just, I'm just doing it because I like to do it, and I think Supersonic is very useful in this game. And I don't know what's going on right here. Yeah, you can get that red ring on the side of yeah. And I just left Tails behind. Oh, poor Tails. Ah, oh, never mind. He got up. Alright, that's the end of Act 3. Thank God. Now we just have to deal with the very hard boss. This boss is hard. And I mean... Hard. Oil Desert Zone boss, a giant born of scrap metal. Okay. Now, first, if you have Supersonic, I'd recommend getting as many rings as possible at the beginning of the level so you can get like 50, like 50 rings. Yeah, if you miss any. You really don't have to wait too much, just use A and go back and get them. And I... Wait, no, never mind, Tails. I, I don't really, I couldn't really see what happened there for some reason, but... Anyway, now Dr. Eggman is getting all his scrap together. 
and as far as he's going to do what he pretty much always does create a giant well not always but create his new greatest greatest creation a giant bonus scrap metal title set okay right so what we're gonna, gonna want to do here is get tails and then just fly up when you up and do that what well, when you up and do that just these tails are fly up and when you attack him I don't think I get to show Super Sonic in the boss fight here but I don't know. I think I definitely get to show him in the next level. And no I didn't need to use all the combo. And then do the Tails Copter combo. Alright. Come on Dr. Eggman. Alright. It's tricky though. When you first play this boss, you're probably gonna hate it to death. But yeah, yeah, when you like I said before, whenever you put first play through this boss, you're probably gonna hate it to death. I right, just repeating myself. Hey, hey for me. No, not really, because repeating yourself is bad. I keep getting hit here. I'm doing terrible at this boss. Well, at least I'm showing off how I think I hate this bug. It's probably my least favorite bug in the game. I thought I died there. That's why I didn't. Oh. Alright, yeah, I'm definitely not showing off Super Sonic in this bug. I don't flipping care. Dave, take away my ring. Hey, stop taking away my rings. Yeah, that's what you get. Alright, here. He's gonna go up. What you want to do? Avoid those crates first. Wait until he goes all the way up. Then use Tails to help you reach him. No. And I have no rings here, so I have to be extra, extra careful. Alright. So what I recommend doing is... Stand till... Stand... Left. For example, right, if you're standing to the left, whenever he's about to land in the mid... right behind... on you, go right. Sorry, when you're... When you're standing right, if you're standing right, when he's about to hit you, go left and then do the rolling combo into him. Tricky? I know. I, I hated it my first go because you have to make sure you turn first, which I keep forgetting to do. I'm just assuming that I'm turning around. Activate the rolling combo to uh, There we go. Do that. And then he's gonna come crumbling down, and you're gonna wanna hit his head. And that is the end of Oil Desert Zone, the worst zone in the Sonic 4 saga by far. But anyway, we're, next time I'm going to be doing Sky Fortress Zone. Probably my favourite zone in the entire game. But actually, no, I'm ending it off too early because we're going to watch the cutscene of Sky Fortress Zone next one. Never really like getting into it. Yeah. Alright. Uh, saving. Now it's time for Sky Fortress on Act 1. The tornado takes off. 
which we're going to be doing in the, ne in the next part, but we'll just watch the intro here. Doctor a cutscene, I guess you could say. So, uh, yeah. Sonic and Tails chasing down Doctor Eggman. And what the flip is that? Ah, uh, it's Metal Sonic giving his master a hand. I see. And, whoa! All those missiles. All right, so that's gonna wrap things up for now. It's Mr. Crazy in the Thirteen saying word out. Join me next time for Sky Fortress Zone.